A lot of people ask me about the final monster from the short film. And as I said in the making of, I did it using Photoshop and After Effects. But it was a quick explanation, so today's video is going to be a tutorial on how to create that monster effect and go from this to this. I hope this is useful for you and let's start with the tutorial. The first thing to do is film the person acting as a monster with the mouth open and being still or moving towards the camera. The next step is filming the eyes looking into different directions to use the stills to create the wide eyes in Photoshop. I also used a Halloween mask to use its texture for the skin. Always remember to place the camera, the actor and the mask in the same position so all the images can have the same lighting. Then take a still of your reference image. That means the image we're gonna use as a base to edit everything to do the monster from that frame. To grab a still using DaVinci Resolve, go to the color page, right click and grab still. Also grab still for the white eyes and the mask. Explore all the stills and open the reference image in Photoshop. Press Ctrl J to create a copy of the base layer and try to place the eye stills on the exact same position on top of the reference image. Make a mask, choose the brush tool and start erasing the parts you don't need. Do this with all the white eye images and you should end up having something like this. Select the copy layer and use the clone tool to remove the eyebrows. Then go to filter and click the liquify tool. Here is where we're gonna start messing around with the image. In this case I'm gonna do big eyes, a bigger mouth and pointy teeth. If you can't edit the lower teeth, select and duplicate the upper pointy teeth and place them down. Open the mask image and use its skin for the texture of the face and the neck. I also use the blood of the mask to make it look even more like a monster. Inside After Effects, we'll use the original clip and put the Photoshop image on top of the clip. Do a mask of the image and erase the outline to make it look as smooth as possible. Lower down the opacity and put the monster face over the original. Next step is to hide the mask layer, right click and create a null object to track the original footage. Select Track Motion and then check Position, Rotation and Scale, put the boxes over the eyes or eyebrows, click the Track Forward button and apply. As the final part, unhide the mask layer, pick whip the mask layer to the null object and we'll have the tracking done. I also use the Liquify tool to make the motion look more realistic. At the beginning of the clip, check the Distortion Mesh button and move the playhead at the end of the clip. Change a little bit the face expression, making it look angrier with the mouth more opened and some parts of the skin as the brow or the neck stretching. Import the clip to your project, color grade it, add a digital zoom and some sound effects to finish with the creation and you'll have this. That was the tutorial, I hope it was useful for you. I know I have not been active the last month, but I'll try to bring more content to the channel and I hope I'll be able to finish my new short film. So see you soon and bye.